it's nice out there so it's already tomorrow over there right it's the fourth it's tomorrow yeah yeah, yeah. it is look at that 1101 ha yeah. oh 11 o'clock 11 four, four o'clock over here yeah here we go we got some few people coming in so welcome everybody on the replay because i have not too many people on the live yet but uh yeah we've got another great opportunity we have a beautiful beloved sister here with us trisha from New Zealand, and uh, we're going to get to know each other in typical solo G fashion, <laughs> spontaneously. We're going to get to know each other. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So I just want to tell everybody as usual, I don't know anything about this guest, <laughs> and this is this is perfect. Um, it's always nice to uh, get to know somebody and keep spreading this energy that's expanding, that's exciting, and uh, yeah, I want to. Uh, uh, I guess I want to start with. Uh, asking the famous soul, soul speaks 5d question have you always been this way <laughs> have i always been this way have you always been this way did you have a wake-up experience oh look you know the funny thing is i was just thinking about this the other day and you know i was just having a bit of a corridor you know a conversation with um, um some some friends and um you know around that you know i don't know that there was any real defining moment of an awakening you know, I think it's been a um, a progression, actually. You know, um, through the years. But I, I distinctly remember, you know, when I was about two years old, Todd, <clears throat> standing up, standing up in my cot. You know, two years old, and I just kind of, I looked around, and um, I just thought, oh no. You know, I could feel the consciousness that I was in. And I just thought, oh no, this is going to be a long ride <laughs> on this earth, um, and I want to go back. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> oh yeah, that's it's so funny. Yeah, hearing, it, it's so funny hearing all these stories because they all actually have the same energetic pattern behind them. If you take the linear out of it, you know, which is so cool because you talk to people like yourself and the things they went through. Some people are going through right now yeah no that's exactly right and um you know it's it's been a it's been a it certainly has been a ride you know since that age of two which is my first first you know um recollection of being something more than mm -hmm. more than our bodies and um and i suppose life has just kind of um loomed up and surrendered me palace on many many occasions you know, and yeah. um, and it's through the depth of depths of those journeys. I think I feel that I've just always been a seeker of the truth, really. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, I, I relate to that. Um, and there's that hard loving of the soul that brings that deep, deep humility <laughs> along the way. <laughs> deep, deep humility for sure. Yeah. yeah. More, ego, the, ego deflation at depth often. Yeah. Absolutely. And it seems like, you know, I mean, there's of course been a lot of talk about ascension and enlightenment and, you know, over the last few years since 2012 and Mayan calendars and, you know, fairies and spaceships and the whole nine yards. But uh, there does seem to be, you know, with everything that's happening in the collective, if you can look past it, there does seem to be on the individual level, a lot of self introspection a lot of uh, changes in people's routines as a result of what's happened in 2020 and it you know it looks like an energetic gift for the world or maybe it's a reflection of what many of us have been doing from the inside oh look yeah that in a reflection and and i think it's you know for me it, it certainly has been you know has felt like it's been a a um a reclaiming of personal sovereignty and when we actually do that we actually do that for the collective as well you know and um you know as we work through the stuff that we're needing to work through and you know reclaiming those aspects of ourselves you know and and affect the change you know energetically um it actually kind of goes out there into the into the collective and i think more and more you know um as we kind of traverse these and you know the time on the planet at the moment um i just am just becoming acutely aware of the the connection you know because i am a work in progress around all this you know right. i mean i listen i listen to you and you know there's many there's wonderful people out there in our communities aren't there right. um and i think resources are really important and 
Um, I think one of the most pertinent things for me right now, Todd, which really brings an acute lens to this, you know, the need to be knowing that we are actually more than just this, yeah. you know, um, in terms of, um, you know, how we interact in our day-to-day -day lives, you know, work, home, play, you know, that, that whole thing. Um, and, um, you know, this isn't new to me, but I have I was given a, a diagnosis, <clears throat> you know, when the world of um, uh, just the, the way the world is right now, right? So when you're sick, you know, you go to the doctors, the doctor tells you ABC and, um, you know, I've had terminal illnesses before, but this one has really got my butt on fire. You know, so um, and it's a it's a new terrain that I'm navigating, but it's a it's a it's exciting because it's actually p pushing me beyond my my limits, um, and getting me out of complacency and getting me out of a comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's one thing to have all the knowledge around, you know, the five D work or the light work or the whatever it is that we do in a day, and then we kind of you know we go in and out of you know, being that, and then we're back in 3D, and then we're, you know, all of that. But when you, when when there's something in your life going on, and your and your and your ass is on fire, pretty much, yeah. it really brings everything down to an acuteness. So, just recently, and I mean really recently, um, I was told I had between six to nine months to live, and that. That you know, and I mean, I'm in, the, I'm in, I'm in a hospital. You know, being told this. And, um, I, you know, I just kind of looked at the, these, you know, specialists and, and there's no disrespect, but they are specialists in their fields and, you know, all of that has its place. And, uh, and I kind of um, looked at, at these beautiful specialist doctors and I thought, nah, <laughs> you know, I just went, nah, nope, this isn't in my reality at all, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. Mm -hmm. And... Um, but what it's actually done, it's actually, as I say, it's it really has brought brought a lens to what is real and what isn't. Yeah. You know. Wow. And looking at your energy and I mean, you're living it. You're, you're I'm not, living it. Yeah, you're I'm not, living it. yeah. Yeah. And we are living it, you know, because um, you know, and, and I think when we when we, you know, and, and if I actually look at that, do you mind if I talk about that a little bit? Well, whatever you want to. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, just in terms of, you know, our, our energy centres, right? And we will, when we actually look at the three base chakras or the three, you know, which is predominantly what I've been living out of, you know, most of my life, yeah. really, you know, yeah. the, 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 you know, the fight or flight of the third, the third, you know, energy center and the, you know, um, and 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 the and the passion and the, you know, all that kind of, you know, basic type stuff that we actually live in. And 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 when I reflect back, you know, it makes sense to me that I actually have a tumor or pancreatic cancer. It makes sense to me when I reflect back over the life that I've actually lived. Right. You know, in terms of you know, the stuff we go through, post-traumatic stress disorder, you know, the stuff that we've got to deal with, la, 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 la. And you know what it takes? It has taken years to work a lot of, through a lot of the stuff and to figure this stuff out. So even though, you know, I've worked energetically, um, <clears throat> more so in the last probably, you know, 20 or 30 years, the manifestation into the physical has already happened and it's happened and it's showing up. And it's also in relation to lineage as well. You know, yeah. as my yeah. mother died of pancreatic cancer, and it becomes this whole ancestral thing, right? Yeah. And so, um, when we can actually understand it in those terms, and like I just look at it now, you know, Todd, and I go, you know what? It's 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 a bunch of cells. It's just a bunch of cells that haven't been given an opportunity to breathe in joy, yeah. you know. And um, you know, I mean, I'm putting it out quite simplistically here, but that's no, I get it. that's, that's it in a, that's it in a nutshell, you know. And uh, so in, re in knowing that, you know, I, I guess I reach out to those resources in our communities, you know, and I don't know if you're familiar with any of Dr. Joe Dispenza's work, you yes, know, in the quantum field. So, so I'm, I'm very much um, in the presence of that, you know, and, and, and the blessing of the energy centres and things like yeah. that, you know, and uh, um, which is, you know, absolutely 
fantastic and um you know a lot of laurie lad's work too i, I tune into a lot of her meditations and and things but um you know and then other support you know because i'm not going to go the medical route in this obviously yeah that's i mean this is like you're you're in a very concentrated manifestation because i mean i for instance i could be talking to someone and they, and they could be talking about how they heal the body and that part of the body that's afflicted just needs more love you know or whatever however you say it there's so many different ways to say it but you're actually you know i guess from a higher level you've chosen to move this energy at the gut level and that is fascinating and inspiring and uh it's i mean i'm not you but i mean that's like the, your outlook your perspective and your commitment to your truth like yeah. when, when those specialists when you said that i thought i've been thinking a lot about and getting downloads about lately about suggestive programming just as an energy like the power of suggestion because perception is consciousness so we're expanding our consciousness our perception must be expanding by making new choices and, and looking, you know, looking at other things, other alternatives. And, uh, and so I, you know, when I hear things like, I don't know, I don't know, I have to find an example, but uh, if somebody says to me, you can't do that because the law says you can't do that. You can't leave the country because yeah. the law says you can't get a passport till you clear up a legal issue. I can't accept that. I, mm. There's something in me telling me, that I, I'm first of all going to hold the vision of going wherever I want to go in the world, whenever I want to go. And then let the, you know, let the energy, let the magic formulate the, you know, the actual experience of it. I mean, we're living in a time when, when the possibilities of our higher abilities are, are actually occurring. And well, the time is now, right now. Yeah. Right. It, is right now. it is right now and it's exciting isn't it yeah. It's, yeah. it's exciting and you know this and, and what what a privilege it is right now for me to be in this position yeah. because it's it, it is it is an opportunity to put all of that into because i'll be back here in a year it's time and i'll be sitting here sharing and eating chocolate cake with you and going yeah what a ride that was <laughs> You know, this is, and, and you're right about this, the manifestation of this energy. Is, I remember doing a show two years ago, two or three years ago, and a lady called in. It was back in the day when I didn't have the, the tech we have now, not that it's, <laughs> it's still pretty amateurish, but she called in and she, t she I want to tell you a story. My husband passed and he had, he had a very serious, almost, I think an autoimmune thing going on. And so they had told him something like that. You know, you've got, you know, three weeks or six weeks and he, they went about their business. And what happened, what ended up happening was all of his organs shut down, but his body grew another organ. They couldn't explain it. Yeah. So she's telling me the story. Wow, that's fascinating. He ends up living almost two years. But uh, she said the interesting thing was, is that when she went to the doctor and he explained to her, your husband has grown another organ and it's like functioning for all the, or, you know, it was just some, and she found out later that he talked to some other doctors. Now this is two, three years ago mm. and that they had experienced the same thing. Mm. Like there were other doctors that were having these anomalies occur that they'd never seen before. So this is, a, you know, what I'm saying is that this is a physical evidence of our transformational abilities, of our true abilities, of our natural nature. Because mm. you know, our state, I would think, I don't know what are your thoughts, but I think our natural state is is one of, there is no disease. No, there that's exactly right. Yeah. It, it, it is actually incoherence in the body. Yeah. You know, when, when there's a disease, or a, it, it is as a result of an incoherence, and, and, and it is all of, about the programming and the thinking and the, you know, something's gone out of whack. Because our natural our natural response to, you know, is that fight or flight mode of the of the third energy center, you know, the fight or flight. And mm. when we are constantly in a state of stress, you know, yeah. um, it, it then impacts into the into the physical. 
but when it's 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 general stress we have an opportunity to recalibrate and then we can continue on as normal but it's ongoing you know it's the ongoing stress factors or the ongoing trauma or the ongoing whatever is how it and so it is a it is a lowering of the frequency isn't it in the body yeah, yeah. and and it's wonderful to 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 know this because knowledge is powerful in terms of this isn't it because when we know this and we understand how this works we can then go about and recreate or regenerate and you know i just want to say you know back in 2016 todd i was uh, diagnosed with emphysema i don't know what it is about me and illnesses but anyway it seems to be a thing and um but you know i i, I actually applied the same principles and today you know my my lungs are at the upper limit of normal you know and wow. they're not emphysematia at all you know and um so so i feel like that at that time for me was a bit of a warm-up to what i'm dealing with now so how, did you, a, how did you so what was your in general what was your what what was your method what what did you do like in the case with the emphysema how did you transform right okay well look um th th there's certain certain layers to this and and w one of the things that i would like to mention here is that I, i'm very fortunate i come from a very gifted family um of um just very gifted and just in terms of awakened yeah and, that's, that's um, what i meant earlier when i said when did you wake up or have you always been this weird so yeah <laughs> well yeah i think yeah it's, it's nice to be amongst weird people isn't it you know yeah, but, uh, runs yeah. In the family. yeah it runs in the, it actually runs in the family so so i was you know i was fortunate enough and uh, you know just in terms of the metaphysical and being able to yeah. work through um you know for me you know if you look at emphysema it actually gets held in the lungs it's all about grief but it wasn't just grief in this life it actually transcended right. that and i was you know bought in a, you know and so um you know gifted family members were able to hold space for me to actually kind of work through that and also too and understanding how the plant world works in our life so um very lucky here in new zealand and uh, uh the the natural blueprint of the of the lungs um is actually through one of our um sort of like indigenous plants here to new zealand you know um, um kumiraho um, is, is a plant for, you know and so i was you know um you know lucky enough to have all that harvested for me and i was able to take these tinctures and things oh, wow. and all of that so, there, so I was, that's what i was wondering so so there is a, a new and, and i know new zealand is a very very special place i mean i, I don't really I just know how you feel things. Like I've always had this thing about New Zealand, Australia, and even Antarctica. Mm. But New Zealand. Um, so, so you're saying that because I know there's also a very, uh, I think maybe a much um, less impeded uh, connection to the the uh, indigenous and the oral traditions and the herbal, you know, remedies and such. But you're saying that there's a plant that kind of aligns with the lungs it's, a, the, 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 the spiritual blue or the metaphysical blueprint of it okay, is for, for the lung space you know right. and my niece it was my niece you know i was fortunate enough that she had all this knowledge you know wow. she had all this knowledge and um was able to go out there and go right and and together we actually well it was a co-manifestation co so it wasn't you know it's very it's very hard when you kind of come and it's somebody with an illness and say can you heal me you know right, right. it's not about you know it's not about this about this co-creation and the collaboration and um and i think that the key thing is is to understand your own body and your own self holistically on every level you know because i knew that i had all sorts of levels to actually you know work through um but you know at, at the end of the day i was able to recreate you know you're talking about new body parts before you know um to recreate healthy cells in my lungs you know um, did, did you do that through would you i mean just to, to i know this is hard to kind of like get through in, you know in an hour or whatever but like was part of that what some you know might call like imagination like like visualization affirmation or you know imagination is in 
seen the healing going on or anything like that oh that yeah anything? definitely definitely look what i didn't realize at that time too because it was post that that i come to understand a lot of dr joe Dispenza's work you know mm. and i was lucky enough to do one of his workshops actually he came oh. to auckland and did one of his but that was after the fact and it was through that process that i realized or through that workshop that i realized that i was applying those principles oh. innately innately and naturally anyway so you're right it was about the intent and it was about you know it was about not accepting that as a reality because you talked a little bit before about the power of suggestion yeah you know and to not you know when, when a suggestion is made like that you know um you know you have emphasis or whatever the case may be you don't have to accept that into your reality that's right yeah you know? that's absolutely right and then yeah. it's around the intention you know yeah. the intention of yeah it's it. interesting because i i look at everything and i say you know i'm i'm made up of belief systems and so as i as i expand my awareness and expand my oneness meaning that i see less and less as not being me um, that the belief systems, so I take a belief system that, that's this big, I expand my awareness, and then I pick up another belief system that contains it, but it's bigger. It, you know what I mean? It's not like we just flip a switch and then we're, you know, walking on water and humming like Buddha. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's yeah. like a, and, and I can see where, like the placebo effect. Like I can see where, for instance, like in your experience, like in your, what you told us happened, and your niece involvement i'm not saying this is exactly what happened but there's something about uh the synchronicities that appear that are a result of that innateness that you just knew this is what i need to do That's and everybody looks a little different but there's no question that for instance like you mentioned ancestral lineage it's almost like saying it like this, the universe would not have subjected to you or handicapped you with this ancestral lineage if you didn't have an equal, you know, the other way, meaning that innate wisdom. And then, of course, the vision to pick up on the nuances that occur and then to yeah. follow, I guess, to follow them is the free will part of it. Yeah, I think I think there's something to be said. And just to kind of um, extrapolate on what you were just saying is, is that, like I, I like to kind of try and keep things simple. You know, I'm not really good for understanding the everything. You know, um, and and simply for me is 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 that if one if you are continually coming from a heart centered space, just continually, you know, and sometimes you know, often you don't even need to know what that actually means because it is an energy and it is a frequency. Then when as life looms up and it happens or you know whatever the case may be. Um, then then synchronicities come into alignment and happen as a result of that you know because and, and, and you know just to bring it back to the example of what i'm going through you know just to share it with people was is a good example of that for me was i knew that something was going on i didn't know i had pancreatic cancer and i did well i don't even want to put that into a reality but for the sake of this conversation absolutely put it into context i'll mention it you know um and you know about a week about a week before i got those results from the doctor something turned up and i think it was on you know i was on technology and i don't know i was on facebook or something but something turned up and i thought i'm just going to have a wee quick look at that and um and it you know it was information it was around cutting edge um you know cancer work over in the states you know these amazing people over there and i just kind of put it in the back of my mind not for any particular reason but i just you know energetically made note of it then of course when i come back um from that diagnosis and i'm going nah you know this is not going to happen in this way um i actually then decided to research further into what that information was all about and i've actually now linked up with those amazing they're actually um you know, um, they are actually medical doctors and specialists, biologists and all of that, but they've got a holistic bent. Wow. So they are understanding that it's just more than the frameworks that they've been working in. Yeah. Right. And so I decided to link up with that. So that to me is a classic example of the synchronicities when the intent of the heart is already there, when that energy field is already there, then we it just kind of everything comes in at the right time. Yeah. 
But you you agree with that? Yeah? Absolutely, I do. Yeah, and I look at uh, I look at uh, and I wonder too because you're right. Things there's so much stuff out there. It is it can be complicated. I, I like to keep it very simple too because that's just yes. the way I function. So I look for big belief systems that are three mm -hmm. words, <laughs> like I am soul or whatever. But but uh, what I was going to say is uh, to me. And I and I know it's not like a blanket statement, but there seems to be an energy of that's um, in other words, if you love life, like yeah. if you are present in your living experience, something seems to be happening <laughs> that's not happened before. And people can talk about a lot of different narratives and theories and reptilians left the earth and the archons are gone and whatever, whatever it is, it, energy wise, there just seems to be a wider field of potential and possibilities. And, and it's weird because all the woo woo goes out the door. All and the woo goes out the door. It's just, yeah. Right. It's just the human, not just, it's the human becoming aware and recognizing that it is it is exactly what its higher self is what it's multi whatever the woo woo is it's got it's literally god in the flesh and there's there's no there's no limit so i think a lot of that is starting to get some traction you don't hear about it you might see it on a talk show but even on talk shows i see in you know in my in the field of my contemporaries it's it's about elections and vaccines and you know there is the i don't listen response. to any of that i don't listen to yeah. the I, don't, I don't either i don't know like what's going on <laughs> i don't either you know but i also know that this the, the people sharing these stories is telling me look if it's happening to you that means it's available to me yeah and so on and so on and i think the more we utilize it and make that choice to follow the guidance that got us here in the first place because we're all weirdos uh that it's going to continue to pay off yeah and those synchronicities will, will continue to, to accelerate too yeah i think one of the most uh, you know the biggest epiphanical moment for me is uh, and especially reminded again through this journey is that i'm not my body yeah. you know because we fall so we fall into we fall back into that habit don't we just so yeah. quickly i am not my body and it's um you know it's uh intellectually that's one thing but to actually live it and feel it and know it is just an entirely different yeah. thing yeah and, and 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 that is like a key that unlocks the prison that we've been bound to you know in, in in terms of duality and being on the planet and the way that we've come into the planet and the timing and all of that sort of thing that um you know that the keeping it simple keys i like to call them yeah. is um you know, I don't have to, I don't have to, you know, I think one of the fascinating things for me being, you know, having this being put in front of me was that I didn't have to go off on any great tangents of panic or, you know, oh my gosh, I've just got to research all this. And, you know, it was all just kind of naturally there. Everything's unfolding. Everything has got its place and, and, you know, just a day at a time, I guess. Yeah. Uh, or a minute at a time sometimes and i think one of the the other things that i want to throw in there too is the power of the now moment because you know what that's all we've got like that's right, right now that's right. right that's it that's right i'm with you i'm like okay no matter who's downloaded channeled or transmitted what you know what does any what can anybody really prove I mean, how do we not know we're not, uh, you know, a drop of water in a Petri dish in a six-year-old's bedroom with his new chemistry kit on planet XYZ? You know, who, who, you know, I mean, who knows? I mean, I think we have that innate knowing, but I mean, in terms of, of really appreciating what you're saying, and that is, what do you have? All I have right now, Morgan's out shopping with our friend. Yeah, my environment right this moment is me and you and all of our friends. Yeah, just, just you know, having a conversation, which is what you know, having that authentic, uh, that authenticness, you know, that realness. Yeah. That hey, let's cut the BS and you yeah, know, I got a transmission and Jesus appeared in front of me and, yeah. and uh, you had spaceship and whatever. It's just me yeah. and you, but me and you, 
you know, I've been saying this for the last 10 days or so through my own experiences, the human is sitting at the, the round table of spirituality where there is no head of the table and is an equal representation, just as my higher self, just as my galactic self, just as my elemental self, my dragons, this, that. It's an equal player. In fact, it's front and center in this mo in this now moment. Yeah, and the now. This, what we're not limited to that you're talking about the body, how you want to say the human aspect, is is aligning its free will. Yeah. All that woo, -woo which is, <laughs> which is like, creating a whole new experience, new math, new language. Yeah, that's right. Language is language is a funny thing too. But I just mm -hmm. want to say that if you know, in every moment today, from well, to today acutely, I've got an acute lens on on living at the moment, as to you know, just just choose that space of love and not fear. You know, just because where there is love, there is no fear, and we we know this. You know, yeah. like they can't reside in the same space at the same moment. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like now in this now moment, what am I choosing? You know. Yeah. To, to come at, at, at everything from love, you know, or, or fear, um, you know. And, and I love the simplicity of that. Yeah. You yeah, know, like, there's no time for grudges anymore. You know, like there's just, the, the, we can't hold on to these things that really, when you get right down to it, are the absolute, uh, uh, you know, our, our, our physical vessel is, is predicated on, what we won't let go of. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, yeah. And then the thing you said about, because I, I think this is fascinating to talk to someone like you. I've met people like you. Um, I have a friend in Adelaide, my wife's uh, hometown, Mick Jones. And 15 years ago, he had cancer in his leg. And the night before he used to go get his leg amputated, he wow. got a download. And wow. it said, do not go start juicing CBD and eating plants and you know, so on. And he's fit as a fiddle 15 years yeah. later. You know what yeah. I mean? So like, yeah. how do some people do this? You know what I mean? There's got to be a consistent, a consistent path. And I, and I, and I believe after all this time we've been through all of us, it's got to be facing our blind spots, seeking our blind spots, seeing what we're not in congruence with outside of ourselves stop chasing love stop chasing hate stop chasing mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it, it is and you know they say the inside job but mm -hmm. i think we're we're at an exponential level of that mm. exponential think. level yeah yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. And I think you're right you know just being in, congru in congruence you know with ourselves you know yeah. and it's, it's just that 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 whole thing, isn't it? Mm. It's, yeah. Uh, uh, God, there was something else I was going to ask you about. Uh, I can't remember now, but it'll come back in a minute. So it'll come back. In. Oh, I was going to ask you another thing too. Like you obviously come from people a lineage that's lit. lit. <laughs> you know, it's open, you know what I mean? I'm reckoning, my, I'm, reckoning, I'm reckoning that. Yeah, but all my family are pretty lit, actually. Right. But I mean, open like you have a niece. I mean, you know, these communities. I've got nice. nieces. I've got nieces, nieces, and they've all bring special gifts to the table, and they are all, you know, within their own, you know, sovereign beingness, and yeah. uh, you know, and and, and sisters, a uh, sister, and you know, and all, you know, everyone is, everyone is, you know, because you know what, it's it's an empowerment and unity when we are trying to co-create something like somebody's health into wellness. Yes. And it is an empowerment and unity, and it and it is a um, you know because it's not a it's not an I thing. It's kind of like a we thing, because when we when we when we're able to transcend this stuff, we do it for ourselves and for the collective, and for the past, and for the present, and for the future. Yeah, you know, that's right. That's and, right. That's, and my that's family right. members. A great, you know, I mean, you know, when I actually talk about energy centers, you know, um, you know, and, and I and I think it's it's wonderful to have access to resources, you know, and um, you know, so so you know, two of my nieces had, had had created this organization called One Nest, and where they crafted, and I'm talking about real high frequency crafting, you know, um, 
chakra sprays. Now, we've all heard of chakra sprays, but not like these chakra sprays because of the way that they were co-created right. and manifested and, you know, and, and and you know, having access to those, you know, when especially when I'm doing chakra work or our energy centre work, I mean, you know, going back to Joe G, he talks about it as the energy centres or whatever, you know, whatever it is, because essentially that is the truth of who we are. It's not yeah. our, you know. And I got, I got, I just want you to know, I got, I, I have a friend that lives in Melbourne. Right. She, she creates. And, and But these yeah. things, like these things that you're talking about, like I would have never thought of something like this Yeah. You know, uh, five years ago. But I've met people, and, and not to mention, there's something about when we create something where we consciously intend something, right? I yes. consciously intend pure love or I can't you know you know what I mean there you yeah. go yeah well there and, we go the heart is beautiful look at that look I just have to share it's just yeah, it, yeah. It, but yeah, it's me, a, but it's beautifully crafted I think that yeah. that is all the intention that's actually gone into this you know you've disappeared there's something no, happened no, no, you no, go. No, no, I was just showing them the, the spray yeah the, and that's another thing that um like I have some friends that live on a on a piece of land up in Montana and they grow conscious food. And I'm like, conscious food. And I'm like, yeah, well, it's the two, it's the, the husband and wife and then three lit kids. Like the whole house is conscious. So they live on like five or seven acres in Montana and they grow their own stuff, but they consciously grow it. So they speak to it, they infuse it. And they tell me stories about people come over and they're just like, whoa, you know, I mean, it's real. It's yeah, just it's the real. energy. It's the energy in a physical in physical matter. Yes. That's all it is. And like my yes. higher self's been telling me, like I've been talking about for the last 10 days, you know, hey, you, you feel this? That's me. Mm -hmm. I'm you. I mean, mm -hmm. the energy, all that woo woo is all in here. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, what we create. Mm. which is mm. which is what's really cool about people like you because you're actually moving into an unknown space you can call it the holy darkness or the mother's womb or whatever but that's where the new creations come from that's right that's right that's right and i mean you know how do, how do we know what tall is unless we know what short is right and so how can we move into those spaces of light unless we actually come through the dark well, well, but mind you, in saying that, I'm also aware too that people don't have to go into such depths in right. their life's journey. They can actually yeah. come in and just be automatically lit without having to go to those depths, you know. And some but, are. Some are. Some are. And, that, and that's okay too. You know, we've all got yeah. our part to play, haven't we? And so, yeah. you know. Mm. Well, there's definitely, uh, there's definitely, you know, people talk about soul contracts or a life plan. I mean, there's definitely something going on that has some type of sequential aspect to it. It may not be like maybe we were, maybe we chose and here's our plan, yet we get thrown down here, memories erased, and and uh, free will dictates, you know, yeah. preserve. But, yeah. But yeah, so I can see where some, like you're in your situation, everything you're telling me. I totally resonate with makes the hair on my body stand up. Like that's my way of understanding that this is a, this is a truth frequency. This is a, what you're saying, what you're saying, you absolutely are being, let me put it that way. Mm. Yeah. Right. So that's, that's true embodiment. And, and, and the thing is, we're going back to like, are we worm dirt <laughs> when we leave here or, you know, is there something to all this, but uh, it's like in, in that space, you don't know what's going to happen. That's the whole thing about it. Like, well, I think it's just the happen. process, you know, mm -hmm. because you know, you know, I'm also becoming really aware too that it's all quite simple, and that you know, uh, and uh, just in terms of um, like, you don't have to be anything specific, or you just have to ha understand a basic kind of concept, yeah. and then trust in the process. But you know what? Because Todd, I like like my journey from here into wellness, I've got a general idea on the direction I'm going. But I think it's it's also wise to open up into just exponential 
potentiality of it yeah. Yeah. without any set mindsets or you know, right. set rules or rigidity or you know um because it's a, it's really important just to kind of flow with what is kind of coming up and you know what's going to happen and how it's going to happen you know um, because i'm i'm also about to take a a a um what they call a protocol you know and it's uh, basically it's a molecule you know and if we get, come back into the bodies made up of atoms and molecules and you know da 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 and so it goes on and uh you know, so I'm having a, a molecule introduced into my bloodstream, right, which is going to target the broken down cells of the tumour, which is all about the, you know, and it's and, and it's about the frequency and the resonance and the, you know, and, and even though it's coming from a medical-based um, premise, yeah. um, it still has a holistic bent is why I'm, which is why I'm, I'm actually, you know, going ahead and, and doing it. And, and you know, it's not cheap. Things cost, you know, and um, nothing comes free. Um, but however, I see, see, because what I would really like to see is the, the emergence of the, the physical construct or the premise around what the medical system is today merging with the, the metaphysical understanding of yeah. it. And I feel that this... Um, protocol that I'm about to take in the organisation. I've, I've like joined up with a, a virtual hospital, if you like. So I'm not that going right? to a particular place. It's virtual. Wow. Now, isn't that exciting? I never knew there was such a thing. And I'm in a virtual space with this, you know, and you know, and co <clears throat> uh, collaborating and, and co-manifesting yeah. with these specialists. And so there's a measure of trust that's needed. Yeah. You know, but energetically, when we're in tune energetically, we That's know right. it is the right thing to do innately. Yes. To achieve the things that we want to achieve. Yeah. It's like it's like jumping on the news feed and whatever you need seems to be popping up for you to read kind of thing. You know, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You just know. You know, and that's and that's the thing that is different too, I'll say, you know, over these especially I can only look back to like 2020 now. I don't know. I know the journey before, but it seemed like 2020, boom, everything changed. But it, people are getting unstuck. You know, they're, they're, they're in different levels, you know, to everything. But like because of what's happened worldwide, you know, the, the jobs were shut down. You're having to work at home. The kids are having to stay at home. So all these, these uh, things that we didn't look at are available, right? And the so world was rendered powerless. Yeah, yeah. The world together. We were all in this place of surrender. We were rendered powerless in the early stages. Would you know? Yeah. So no, that's true. Even even elements of it still now. Because what's powerless? Powerless could be having to wear a mask. It could be a lot of things. I know one. Well, in terms of the illusion. Yeah, 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 yes. Yes. In terms of the illusion I'm yeah. talking about. Uh, yeah, I get you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, too, is like, and I was just talking to someone about this. You know, I had a, a huge amount of energy come through the other night when we connected, Morgan and I. I had to lay on the bathroom floor because it has a physical, it has a physical uh, consequence or effect. In fact, before I went upstairs, I was going to stay down here. She goes, well, I'm going to go to bed. I'll wait for you, you know, because I was building a fire. And I was sitting here. She went upstairs. And then I thought, I'm going to go start the fire. And I walked outside, and I just started to what looked like I was throwing up. Wow. But it was all clear. I could feel the energy more than I felt the physical. And I was watching the physical thinking, what the hell is this? It looked like plasma. Mm, mm. But energetically, I felt like something just got blasted out of me that was like from way back from the caveman days or something. And I go, <laughs> up, I go upstairs and and I said to Morgan, I said, "You just did something to me." <laughs> you, are you? And, and she just said, "No," but I was just trying to go to sleep and I woke up. I mean, I sat up knowing you were about to do something, mm. and then I explained to her what happened, but. But uh, but you know what I was getting at is is this this thing that you're talking about. There's so many integrations like this virtual hospital, 
the, or the medical fusing with the metaphysical. And the same, I think, goes more than anything for, I guess, what we call the spirit or the, or the, 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 the numerous bodies that make us up into the physical. Mm-hmm. Like, like there's certain things that are happening. You can call it, you know, people talk about the transformation of the body from carbon based to crystal. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of ways to explain it, you know, yeah. but that's but right. It's, so it's like these things are happening, which really have all always happened. It's, but, it's happening yeah. and it's happening for everybody conscious or yeah. not. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. So do you, are you, do you work online with people or do you, do you do any type of energy work or? or it's you know, interesting. It's interesting, you know, um, when I went through the um, emphysema um, patch, <laughs> I um, I decided to vlog that journey and just put it online because I felt, well, you know, mm-hmm. I, it might be helpful or useful to somebody to hear what I'm doing, even though stage by stage I didn't know what it was that I was doing, but I thought I'd just get online and just share my stuff, right, which turned into these vlogs. As a result of that, um, and over the years, so that was since 2016, we're now 2021, I have people, um, you know, uh, come to me from around all over the world, actually, um, wanting to just hit, start conversations around around this, you know, yeah. because they're, they're going through it or, you know, and um, and so it's been, it's been, yeah, so it's, it really is, you know, because it's not a one size fits all, and because right. you know, what we do for ourselves isn't isn't a remedy for somebody else, yes. and it's that understanding, and a lot of people don't un- understand that, you know, it's because I was getting this overwhelming, like just people just coming at me saying, "Oh my God, what did you do? What did you use?" And then it was the need to have conversations around that, <laughs> and that in itself was energy work because it was. Sure. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, I was really lucky to be, you know, to to have um, a, 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 who I call a dear friend now, for sure. Um, we've actually been talking for the last couple of years, a gentleman out of the States, you know, and, um, and you know, was really confronted with um, having, you know, um, prostate cancer. Mm. himself you know and uh but 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 it was a it was a manifestation of conversations and the shifting of the energy and the you know awarenesses and you know things like that and you know i'm really happy to say that this man is um you know he's on the on the other side of you know healing and healed um today not as a result of what but but just having a part to play so when you say am i doing energy work around it i suppose it's just an organic thing it's an organic well that's the best way isn't it you know like it's yeah i mean you're not like pursuing it but it's nice here we go with the synchronicities again but you're you see you're a code carrier is what you are sorry a code carrier oh okay you you have yeah you've you've unlocked code that maybe has been pretty much dormant you know, in the specificity or, you know what I mean? Energetically. And I say this all the time, there's people out there in different, you know, different ways that are sharing code by breaking down energetic doors. And then. Yeah. Thank you you for feeding that to me. You know, thank you for that. Just make, I've just had Mm. an awareness drop for me around that. That's. It's like, I mean, think about, uh, you know, think about, the higher dimensions, we don't, you know, it's, we're, that's all we're doing is sharing. We're, yes. share, we're sharing what, you know, you might lack, what I might lack. I mean, it's, it, it's all growth, but yes. this is, this happens to be in a very dense physical experience of a dense realm. So if I look at this story, like with this man, it's not just the man, <laughs> you know what I mean? Even your your own healing is like you said, it's past, it's future, it's it's healing all That's over. Right. So yeah. now you've now you've connected with another mirror of you. How many people has he exposed this code to? It's very unconscious. Oh, you it is. I mean? So Absolutely. it just keeps growing. And I think that's really what's happening on the earth. This this these things that we're talking about have been around, but it was you know, it was the adepts, you know, and the yogis and, you know, whatever. Now, it potentially, it's everybody. 
Yes. I mean, like there's something different, like everybody. And, and, and I think this is how it works when we share, mm -hmm. we share with each other. Look, absolutely. And can I just throw in here, you know, in terms of our planet, if we actually see our planet and then we see a small sliver of the planet as being the, 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 the grey or the, you know, the, a lot of the, you know, the darkness that's actually going on, but the rest of it is actually all the light. Yeah. You know, and it's the breaking down of the go or whatever. I mean, there's fabulous people out there in our communities, and I've listened to some you interview some of these people, you know, and I just go, wow, you know. And that's beautiful because that's the whole light of the planet. And so, you know, the feeding into that light is just what you were saying. And it's it can be just in a conversation. Like yeah. a, we we don't have to do any great feats or anything. It's just in yeah. that incremental moment of being able to shift, you know. I have, a, I have a friend of mine that, that um, she's been doing this. So she's been in this scene, whatever you want to call it, for a long time, even back to 1987 when there was the harmonic convergence, which I never even heard of that until 2015 probably. But but I ran into her three or four months ago, and she says, you know, she says, uh, Todd, I don't know what to do. I keep asking my team every day, like I've done since whatever, the mid-'80s, and they, you know, my guidance would tell me, go here, go do this, go do that. And she says, now I'm getting nothing. Mm -hmm. And I just keep hearing, just, oh, you, 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 just be, just be what you've, what you've become. Just be it now. And in other words, to me, that what I'm here, what I get from, from what I'm feeling and, and stories like that is, like we said earlier, all the woo woo, it, it, it's not, it, it, we, have, we, we have enough information now. There's enough awareness. Well, it's not, in frameworks. it's not in frameworks anymore. I mean, it's not, a, it's yeah. not, you know, a, you know, just, just in, just in terms of innately knowing where you're going, yeah. you know, just innately, you know, that, that whole thing, but you can't put it into, you no. know, for example, and I just want to um, say, I, I remember when my, um, just before my brother passed on, but anyway, there was a whole lot of, um, unidentified flying objects at the um down the end of his driveway just to, you know only a few mm. feet in, in, in the sky that we all got to witness and see right, right. we're closed right these yeah. orange you know um and and later they were seen flying across the skies you know i was in auckland at the time down here in christchurch and and stuff like that and um you know so what I, what i wanted to say to that is 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 um I don't know why I've mentioned it, but anyway, there'll be a reason. <laughs> just, yeah, this just is kind how it works now. It just There's kind no of respect. the whole picture of that just came in randomly. There's but no there, there'll be a thing for, but but I think what what I'm trying to say is 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 that you know the importance of how we need you know just just accepting this stuff and mm -hmm. and it's it doesn't belong in a framework or it doesn't yeah. belong anywhere specific other than the fact that this kind of yeah. That's what, that's, what, that's what I was saying earlier about you. That's why I'm, I'm so inspired by you because that's why I was saying you, you really don't know what's going to happen. What I meant by that is you're so uh, present with everything that you're not looking. You you have a an aim and you have a trajectory. We always do, but you're you're not like attached to the outcome. That's what I meant by being. Yes. It's, it's unknown. So I. Uh, I got to tell you, I'm so, I'm so, uh, we've been behind all day and I would love to talk to you more <laughs> now that you brought up the UFOs too. Uh, but uh, I've got to run. Um, okay, brilliant. Yeah, but I'd love to get together with you again because, yeah, it's just. Uh, oh, look, some... thanks, thanks for your time, Todd. Yeah. And it's yeah. been really wonderful just being in the presence of you for, mm -hmm. you know, and it's it's been great. So thanks very much. And uh, I'm going to reach out to you. Right. You take care. Love okay. you. See you later. Thank you so Bye. much.